The various issues which accompany long COVID have yet to be properly researched and identified, and there's no doubt that many who have caught disease, many of whom I know myself, caught disease continue to suffer. 90%, I think, who have it uh, still continue to suffer. Their lives are on hold, and many are suffering in silence. Many of the up to, I think, 200,000 people uh, who are suffering from it. And the regional group are right to highlight uh, the the waiting list figures for the National Treatment Purchase Fund and the 79,000 people in that, and, and a further at, at least 625,000 awaiting an outpatient appointment. Uh, and difficulties that the, has been outlined by the Irish College of General Practitioners and the Irish Nurses and Midwives Association. But I'd like to draw attention also to the, the acute hospital in Kerry, uh, the University Hospital Kerry, which is at breaking point. And if we haven't confidence in the government to deal with issues of health and housing and uh, direct provision even, how can we have any confidence that they're going to deal with this issue uh, properly? The, the hospital in Kerry, as I said, uh, more uh, damning information emerged recently. In July, August and September of this year, Admission through University Hospital Kerry Accident and Emergency was far above the state average 12-hour waiting time. The most alarming statistic was probably that the figure for over 75s in July, there is a 22-hour waiting time. Although things improved somewhat in August and September, for all patients, all patients there was a waiting time of 15 hours. For that same period, 28% of all patients in the hospital in Kerry had to wait over 24 hours to be admitted. Performance then, once patients are admitted, is poor also, and wait times exceeding three days for both over and under 75-year-olds for all three months of that particular quarter. So the winter plan is more, no more than a, than a smoke screen, as the real work should have been done, the planning should have been done over a multi-year period, and this motion comes some way towards addressing these issues, and I hope that the TDs here and the Kerry TDs will support it. There is also a difficulty and a crisis within home care, which is brewing for many years. In, in my region, there are 651 people waiting for home care, which is often filled by uh, relatives and friends, and we need a proactive, strategic approach to workforce planning across all healthcare, including... Thanks, Deputy, Deputy Patricia.